how to deploy a smart contract on base. I just want to make this really quick video showing you how you can get set up on base, Coinbase's new blockchain, and how you can deploy a smart contract because base is giving out free NFTs, which could have some value later on for the first people that deploy a smart contract on their platform. So without further ado, let's get started. I'm here on base's main website right now. Um, the main websites that we're going to need are this docs website. So I'll open that up in the new tab. And if you go to blog, you can just take a peek at the NFT that they're giving out for this task. If you take a look at the blog post on April 6th, you'll see you can earn a commemorative NFT with the base builder quest. So we're going to click on that. If you want to see the actual NFT that you'll be getting, I think that it's this right here, which is pretty cool. You'll also see in this blog post that there are a few steps on how to actually get the NFT and that is connect your wallet, deploy your smart contract, and then you can mint it. So the main catch is that Coinbase really wants you to use the Coinbase wallet. Personally, I prefer using MetaMask for development and I'll show you how to do it in an alternative way using MetaMask. So the first thing that we're actually going to need to do is actually add Base's testnet as a network to our MetaMask wallet. So I'm going to go ahead and go over to their docs and then click on this network information. So this network, Base Gurley, is the one that's actually available because at the time of recording, Base doesn't have their mainnet launched, it's just their testnet. So I'm going to go ahead and open MetaMask, click on this dropdown for the different networks, and then click Add Network. Then I can go ahead and click Add Network manually, and all we have to do is copy the information from the Base docs into this field. So I'm going to go ahead and do that now. The RPC endpoint is going to be the new RPC URL on MetaMask. Base has said that they are going to be using Ethereum as gas, and so their testnet also uses testnet ETH, and copy in their block explorer URL. Then you can go ahead and hit save. Cool. We added that network, and you can see I actually have one testnet ETH. It's not actually worth $2,000, unfortunately. But that leads us to our next step, which is to get testnet ETH in order to have the gas to deploy a contract on base. If you go back to their blog, you can see they make it really easy to get testnet ETH from a Coinbase wallet, but we're going to look at an alternative faucet. So in order to actually get Coinbase ETH not using a Coinbase wallet, you're gonna to wanna to scroll down and click on this quick node faucet. So once you're here, go ahead and click connect your wallet and connect to MetaMask. So now you can see they actually pre-populated the chain and the network along with my wallet address. So we can go ahead and hit continue. If you want to get more tests on ETH, you can send a tweet. I'm just going to say, no thanks, give me the basics. So if I take a look at my wallet, you'll be able to see that that transaction went through and I have an extra 0.025 testnet ETH. Sometimes this can take about 30 seconds to actually populate in my mask. So just be patient if you don't see it right away. If you have any problems getting this test at ETH, just tag me in a tweet on Twitter and I should be able to get you some. So in order to actually get started deploying the contract, go to remix.ethereum.org. This is a development environment where you can actually code smart contracts in your browser. It looks a little bit complicated at first, but don't worry, this is actually going to be pretty easy. So you can go ahead and close out of everything, then look over in this left side panel where you can see contracts. This storage contract is actually very, very simple, and it's basically a Hello World contract in Ethereum. This is a smart contract that we're going to deploy. If you go down to scripts, you'll see that this is the script that will actually deploy the contract. So make sure that on your MetaMask, your base girly network is selected. So before you can actually run this deploy script, you need to go over to this little button right here, which is deploy and run transactions, because we need to switch our network from a local network to the base testnet. So I'll go ahead and go right there now, click on environment and then click injected provider with MetaMask. Go ahead and hit next to connect your account. And you can see we're on our custom network 84531, which if you'll remember is the base chain ID. So then we can go back to the file explorer and then go over to the storage contract and then hit compile, which is this little green triangle. You can see it looks like that contract is compiled and ready to go. So we can go over to this deploy script and go ahead and run the script using the same green triangle. You'll need to sign a transaction to pay for the gas using the test ID that we just got. And now you can see here that if we go down, we have our address 
The most recent one that was deployed not locally like these ones, um, but actually on the base testnet. So go, we can go ahead and copy this address and paste it in on that base quests page. One thing to keep in mind that I discovered is that you actually need this to be all lowercase when you paste in the address. I tried posting in the same address using the uppercase that's default in Remix and it didn't actually work. Also, if it doesn't work immediately, go ahead and look at your MetaMask to make sure that, that the contract actually deployed. If you don't see it deployed here, you need to make sure that you're actually deploying to the right network in Remix, which you select in this menu on this Deploy Around Transactions page in this injected provider. So once you've pasted that address, you could go ahead and hit continue here and then mint the NFT. As always, you'll have to confirm the transaction MetaMask with more of your base ETH, which actually doesn't have this value. And my NFT is claimed. So there you have it. That's how you can create a contract to get your free NFT using MetaMask on the base testnet. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.